So China has now successfully infiltrated the United States, and it looks like more of them are actually coming in. I don't believe people who are violent in our city and commit repeated crimes should have the privilege of being in our city. So while there are certainly threats from outside the country, it's best that we also realize how fragile our country is at the moment. Now, while we hear about the threats from Iran, Russia, and even North Korea on mainstream media, not a lot of them actually recognize the obvious. Some people have a different belief than that. You know, that is my belief. And if I had my way of... If you are repeatedly committing crimes in our city, uh, like the individual did a, a serious crime and then got out and went and assaulted and did, uh, did a robbery, of, you don't have the right to be in our city. Now, the obvious is that the United States, well, it's facing a massive border crisis. It's a crisis that's been ignored for years now, which in turn has led to record numbers being set in different sectors down south. Now, I'm also gonna be talking about some leaked files that prove that the threat is already inside our country, so it'd be best to definitely stick around until the end. And before we get any further, all I ask of you guys is just to take a quick second, drop a quick like for the video. I totally appreciate it. And I just wanna thank you guys always so much for sharing these videos. It really means the world to me and it totally helps out the channel. So the US Customs and Border Border Protection said that it only took three short days for 452 Chinese nationals to be apprehended by Border Patrol in the San Diego sector alone. Now, remember that number, okay, guys? So back in what fiscal year 2021, the total apprehensions of Chinese nationals across the entire Southwest border was 450. In 2022, that number spiked to more than 2,000 across the border. By fiscal year 2023, that number hit more than 24,314. For fiscal year 2024, which began last October, we've already seen more than 18,750 encounters. There were actually 6,000 in December alone. Now, some experts believe that the number grew this much because of the policies that have been implemented at the borders. They say that these Chinese nationals, they were practically testing the waters in recent years, and they're now moving in at a faster pace since the door is pretty much just wide open. Now, this raises a very important concern. Should we be worried about this sudden influx of Chinese nationals? Now, some Republican lawmakers, they're saying that the Biden administration should probably be aware of just how many single adults from China are entering our borders. China continues to be a geopolitical rival for the United States, and having more of their citizens coming in may pose a national security threat, especially since most of them are actually military-aged. The president of the National Border Patrol Council, Brandon Judd, he confirmed this, and he even added that this is a very, very scary scenario. So this could probably mean that the Chinese army has already gotten through our borders. They're now just waiting waiting for an opportune time to attack. Now, experts don't think that they would attack head on. They're a lot smarter than that. There's a high probability that these attacks would be done in secret with the White House not even finding out about it until it's over. This now leads me to talk about these leaked files from a Chinese firm that shows just how vast the hacking efforts of China has been. The documents show that Beijing's intelligence and military groups, they're carrying out large scale, systemic cyber intrusions against foreign governments. They're also doing this against companies and infrastructure. It also revealed that these hackers, they're targeting vulnerabilities and software systems from companies that include Google, Microsoft, Apple, you name it. Cybersecurity experts confirmed the authenticity of these files and said that it details how China has used these firms to collect sensitive data from different countries. Their targets include India, Hong Kong, Thailand, South Korea, the United Kingdom, Taiwan, and Malaysia, just to name a few. This is another reason as to why the United States intelligence officials claim that China is the greatest long-term threat to our nation's security. In fact, officials here at home, they have admitted that hackers with the People's Liberation Army have breached computer systems in about two dozen key American infrastructure entities within the past year alone. The goal is to have a base of operations within critical systems so that they can disrupt our power, our water, communications, and even our transportation systems at any time that they want. Now, we already got a taste of our cellular networks taken down recently. You guys remember that? AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, multiple cell phone carriers were affected. Started around 3.30 in the morning. Some people blamed it on a solar flare, but was it really? Now, this problem is already costing us a ton of money. Just recently, President Joe Biden signed an executive order to strengthen cybersecurity at our 
ports. Now, if you guys remember our ports, they're also at a very vulnerable position with the FBI saying that its systems could be compromised right now. To make matters worse, over 80% of the cranes that we use to lift and haul cargo off of ships and onto our docks, they actually come from China. Not just that, but they're controlled remotely through a software that could also be hacked. It's estimated that replacing these cranes would take over five years and will cost the American taxpayer billions of dollars. Kinda unsettling, right? So imagine your personal information just kinda out there in the hands of who knows who. This kinda thing really hits home the importance of safeguarding our personal information. And speaking of protection, this brings me to something that I personally trust and the sponsor of today's video, Delete Me. In a world where our data seems to be as secure as a screen door on a submarine, Delete Me is kind of like that solid steel door that you really need. Data brokers, as I mentioned before, are these entities that collect and sell your personal information. From your social security number to details about your relatives, they leave no stone unturned. Delete Me steps in as your personal data defender. Their experts remove your information from these data brokers, ensuring it doesn't just get passed around like a hot potato. You give them your details for removal and boom, they get to work scrubbing your digital footprint clean. Within about a week, you get a report detailing all of their ninja moves. And the kicker? They keep at it every three months to ensure that your information stays private. Why delete me? Well, simple. They're on a mission to put you back in control of your personal information. With top-notch customer support, serious data security, and a focus solely on wiping your PII from the face of the digital world, they're kind of like your personal privacy SWAT team. Now for the cherry on top. Use my special promo code Ron Yates and you'll get a sweet 20% off delete me service. Just hit the link in the description down below, punch in the code, and start your journey to reclaiming your online privacy. In times like these, when data breaches like Walmarts are becoming all too common and your personal information is just bouncing around the web like a beach ball at a concert, taking control of your online privacy isn't just smart, but it's crucial. With Delete Me, it's easy, it's effective, and now more affordable with my promo code Ron Yates. So don't wait for the next big data breach headline. Click the link, use the code, and let Delete Me shield your personal information from the prying eyes of data brokers. So stay safe and take control of your digital presence. Remember, Remember, your privacy is priceless. And since we're already on the topic of protecting the country, it seems as if the Biden administration is far from signing away any border deal at the moment. So the bill that the Senate passed is probably going to be rejected by the House as foreseen by House Speaker Mike Johnson. The $95 billion emergency spending bill is set to provide billions of dollars to the likes of Ukraine, Israel, and even our allies out in the Indo-Pacific region. Now, this includes around $4.8 billion for Taiwan, a country that China has set its eyes on. And this is why alarms continue to ring for many experts. China has warned time and time again that the United States should not get in their way when it comes to the disputed island. Now, their president, Xi Jinping, has said that they would prefer to reunite both China and Taiwan peacefully. Of course they would. Why get into a fight if you don't have to? This is something that the White House has protested against though. Now, don't get me wrong, there are efforts to try and strengthen our borders yet again. A bipartisan group of lawmakers in the House, they're proposing a quick fix to our problems. So the bill would effectively provide financial aid to Ukraine, to Israel, to Taiwan, and maybe even get a little bit of money out to our southern borders. So that's one issue that we continue to see over there. There's a lack of manpower when it comes to handling all these different people that are coming in. So this has led to even more of them illegally crossing right under our noses. Additional funding would also help to bolster border patrol and add even more officers that can help secure our borders. So this bill is expected to cost around $66.3 billion, and they're calling it Defending Borders, Defending Democracies Act. Now, I should note that the line lion's share of the funding, or around $47.69 billion, is going to the Ukraine. So it makes you wonder, why are they really calling it the Defending Borders, Defending Democracies Act? Why not just call it the, hey, this is the Check for the Ukraine Act? <laughs> anyway, I guess that probably wouldn't be as marketable, right? So anyway, it just goes to show just how much we support Israel, how much we support Ukraine, as well as Taiwan, since they're still included in this proposal and legislation. Now, speaking of Taiwan, Representative Mike Gallagher, he was there recently recently to assure Taiwan of our support. So Gallagher, he's the chair of the House of Representatives Select Committee on China. He said that no matter who wins the 2024 presidential elections, Taiwan can relax knowing that the United States will continue to support Taiwan. China said that they expect the U.S. to handle the China 
Taiwan issue in a prudent and proper manner given its complexity. I'm willing to bet that China's probably accurate on that one. Now, Taiwan, though, they said that they have the right to invite whoever they want and that China has no authority over them. So you kind of already tell that Taiwan probably doesn't want China to take them over. Now, some experts believe that a possible invasion of Taiwan would trigger the Chinese army inside our country. Now, this expectation is that they would work hand in hand with hackers from China to effectively cripple our country's infrastructure and damage the lives of millions of Americans. Now, this would preoccupy our national resources right off the bat. And this is something that even the FBI has thought to be possible. However, feels like besides the warnings, not much else is being done. But what are you guys' thoughts on this? Should we prepare for possible power outages, more cellular networks being down, outages? Maybe the internet goes down or maybe we lose access to water. Now, as far as I know, guys, I'm gonna be here every day to keep you guys up to date, up to speed, keep you informed and in the loop. Before I go, I want to thank you guys for hanging out. Thanks for liking the video and I'll see you on the next one.